So uh, yeah, going on to other fandoms. So JoJo fans. So can we talk about JoJo fans? The locusts of the anime community. <laughs> Because that that's what, what they are. are. The, the locusts. The religious plague of the anime community. <laughs> They're the frogs that most right. rain down. I'm a head out. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, no, I mean, we can't, we can't shit talk. I mean, we can shit talk. No, we, we can no, shit talk. Shit talk me. You can shit we, talk. But we can shit talk because we are in that fandom. No, no, because right? we, we are in that fandom. We're JoJo fans. I feel like we're varying degrees. We're, we're, yeah, we're of varying degrees. Yeah. Like there, there's like, it's it's like a gradient, right? Yeah. And you, you've gotten better recently. <laughs> But I went to my rehab, God, I went to rehab. But you know? my God, when Connor discovered Jojo, he was the most annoying Jojo fan you could ever imagine. Yeah, in the, he, in the church of Jojo, he went from like altar boy to the Pope. Like <laughs> he just yeah. ascended. Like, <laughs> everything like, has to be Jojo. It's like, when did you like first properly get into Jojo? Cause it, was it when you were like in peak Jojo yeah, because toxicity? I'm, I'm curious because from my point it's of view, out of it kind of happened out of nowhere. Mm. Yeah. So I had watched, when I was moving house once I downloaded, uh, cause only at the time, uh, only Stardust Crusaders had finished. Yeah. Right. Before st part four started. And uh, I downloaded it all and I was like, well, every, you know, this, this guy talks about it a lot on YouTube and says mm. it's quirky. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> and and, and I, I fucking hated the art style. I thought it looked right. like shit. I was right. like, why is it so fucking ugly? Yeah. Which is what I hear a lot from Jojo fans and I, I totally oh. understand. It's, it's wait, wait, always- you downloaded it cause I mentioned it? Yeah, yeah you, you've I've created a monster. <laughs> Oh my he god! He did this. Oh my because god! You're like the scientist who created oh Frankenstein. God. I feel you're like, like <laughs> maybe you had a you had a part to play in the catalyst of like if you didn't you didn't start it, but maybe you definitely accelerated yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I downloaded it and I was moving house and I had no internet for about yeah. a week. Mm. Um, and it didn't even take me a week; it took like three days. Yeah. So I watched and got oh my fucking god, dude! Stardust Crusaders Part One, the mm. first watch. Fucking boring. Yeah. That shit was so long. Yeah. It really well, I was there in orangutan. There was a boat. <laughs> What is that, Araki? I mean, I mean, now, now I love it. Yeah, now, now it's I, hilarious. Yeah. Now yeah. I think it's amazing. Yeah. But at yeah. the time, I'm like, I hate this. I hate this so much. Part yeah. two had a good thing going. Yeah. Why are you ruining it, Araki? Yeah. <laughs> Part one, okay, here's what it is, right? And I, 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 I sympathize a lot with JoJo fans who come, to, no, not JoJo fans, people who want to get into JoJo who are like, yeah. I just can't get into it. Yeah, it's yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it is hard to get into. It is. It is just such a weird thing, and it's so different from what you're used to. Dare I say, it's an acquired taste. <laughs> I think some parts yeah. it is, and and there's a almost a lot of people now who really want to like it just yeah. to get the memes and yeah. be in the yeah. know. And it's like you don't have to. I don't care if you do or don't. Yeah, which which it's, is the biggest thing about JoJo fans. I want to say is that please stop trying to get absolutely everyone into JoJo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not everyone should get no, into JoJo no. because it's not something that it's, appeals to everyone. Yeah, exactly. And, you know? and, and it, it is a commitment as much as I like, yeah. you know, it, I have to basically say to people, if you make it past Stardust Crusaders, you're probably in for the long run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that is nearly what? Like 70 episodes? Yeah, 70 yeah. episodes? Like it's 48 plus, yeah, it's about 70 episodes. It's, it's like episode. 20 volumes of the manga. So, Asking someone to be like, hey, it gets good 72 episodes into the yeah. point of like no return. It's yeah. like, that's a hard sell. Anyway, so I, I'll get back to that. So I watched it and then I kind of was like, didn't think anything of it. Like, yeah. And then I watched part four and I was like, this is really good. Mm. Part five hadn't yeah. come out. I was adamant on, uh, I actually tried to read the manga, yeah. but I couldn't I couldn't do it. I was like- Really? Yeah, because at this point I didn't start reading manga. Yeah. I, I was yeah, yeah, yeah. strictly not reading manga. Yeah. So I was like, no, I can't do it. And I read the first chapter of part five and I was like, no. no. Yeah. What is yeah. this? Why, who's this fucking John? No kind of <laughs> <laughs> So then I started watching part five as it aired. I got about three episodes in and I was like, I really want to know what happens. Yeah. And so I started reading ahead and then right. it became like, I read part five in like uh, like a day, I think. Jesus. Yeah. And then I read part six the next day. <laughs> <laughs> and then I read part seven over like two, three days. And part seven was like by far my, and part seven is when I think it solidified like my obsession with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part seven was so fucking amazing. Yeah. And if you have finished all the mar uh, all the anime yeah. and you're one of the anime only peeps who I, like I was for a long time, please give it a shot. The manga is so, so good. Yeah, part yeah. six and seven's manga is so good. Yeah, then I became like obsessed and I was like, okay, well, I want to go back and read all the manga now because mm. I feel that like it was kind of a really different experience and I got to go through it a lot faster. Yeah. And yeah. a lot of the pacing issues I felt in the anime, at least for part three, yeah. could be resolved yeah. with the manga. So I went back yeah. and rewatched it and I just became fully obsessed. And I think whilst I was reading part seven, I was meeting up with you a bunch and I slowly became more annoying. Yeah, <laughs> because like the thing I hate about Jojo fans is that they, they, 
Like they assume that nobody watches JoJo, like in the old days. Right, you right, know what right. I mean? They're, they are the most vocal fan base out of fucking any other anime fan base. Mm, and they, mm, it's mm, always mm, the yeah. same fucking- We want to talk about a dick measuring contest. <laughs> like JoJo fans, it's like, a dick measuring I had, contest. I actually feel sorry for any musician who Araki chooses to like name as a stand. <laughs> oh dude, you go to their comment section yeah, on YouTube? Yeah, it's like the JoJo fans have taken over. Oh my God. Which is like, I, which is like I call them locusts, right? Cause, cause they like invade, they-, they <laughs> They take all the crops, they take everything, <laughs> and then they move on to the next one. It's, yeah. like, it's like the Independence Day aliens, right? Where they just like, they just like make this fucking world uninhabitable and then they move on to the move next on world. The next did, one. did you see when the Star Wars released the new like R2D2 thing? And it was <laughs> no. called Dio. Oh my God. And all the comments were, Kono <laughs> Dio Like all of yeah. them. And so, when Connor was in like peak Jojo fandom, this kind of came out of nowhere because he would just start making Jojo references like in everyday life. And mm -hmm. like, I remember in England, we, we still hung out like pretty often. Yeah, like, like once or twice uh, every, uh, well, one a week or every two weeks. Yeah, 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 exactly. And just every time I would hang out with Connor, he would just keep making Jojo references. <laughs> he was like, I, I, I thought Jojo fans were annoying online. Hanging out with a Jojo fan in real life as a fan of Jojo <laughs> made me start to hate Jojo. <laughs> And I didn't know that was physically possible until I started hanging out with Connor. Like we would be like eating a meal in like some Italian restaurant yeah. and Connor would just be going through this fucking menu being like, oh, prosciutto, that's a Jojo character. <laughs> oh, look, you ordered the black pasta. This is like that scene from part two where- <laughs> And I would just, Jesus Christ, that's a Jojo. Yeah, right? and I would just be sitting there being like, motherfucker, I'm just trying to eat my fucking pasta. Can you not right now? I remember I would just do it on purpose at some point. So I'd be like, oh, you you approached me. That was, <laughs> I remember, we were like drunk. I, I, I remember I that one party we went to and we got fucking wasted. And every time I just, I, every time someone walks towards you, you, you would be like, oh, you're approaching me. <laughs> you're approaching me, oh. And it was like- I'm it was, so it was, glad I wasn't in the it UK. It was funny like the first two times, but like the 50th yeah, time the, of the night. The worst part was everyone at the party started doing it then. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Cause I'd done it so much that everyone was saying it. Oh my but, like, God. They didn't know what even they were even no, referencing no, most no. of the time. They were just copying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my uh, God. yeah, needless to say the, I get it because the passion for it when you first get into like really into it is mm -hmm. so intense. Yeah. And like you love everything about it. Because everything about that is so quotable. Yeah. Like, you can take anything I, out of context I, and it's yeah. quotable. I think that it's like, the way I try and describe it is like the selling point is that like, it's such a unique experience in anime. Yeah. It is. And, and a manga that you just, you nothing comes close. I know everyone says that, but yeah. it really is. And I think also because being, especially I think the reason it's done so well in the West is that I feel like it's kind of almost accessible because a lot of the Western references make it really easy to digest. Well, it's because Araki as well has said that he's like, his biggest influence was Western comics. Yeah. And it's so cool because it feels like it's like, oh, anime is like kind of like acknowledging our, our kind of like yeah, thing, yeah, right? Yeah, and like, yeah. you know, I fucking love Earth, Wind and Fire. And when I first saw like the stand Earth, Wind and Fire, I was like, I fucking love that band. <laughs> You know, when you see a band that you listen to, it's yeah. so hype, you know? And, and then when you see it again in part seven, yeah. you're like, hold on a second. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, did Aki do a, mis a mistake? <laughs> you know? But no, it's like, I, I think it's so, easily digestible in some ways. Mm. And it's such a, no author does anything like this no, in yeah. any other way. No. And the absurdity of it, but also it's so dumb yet clever at the same time. It's yeah. really just in an overall experience and a, and such a good style. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, that's why it's one of the most parodied Shonen Jump titles right. ever by other Shonen Jump because, artists. Right, like I'm reading Ice Shield 21 at the moment yeah. and they fucking, when they throw the ball, some of them shout aura. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And it's like, just gonna casually every, drop like it. literally every Shonen Jump artist has probably parodied or referenced JoJo in some way. Yeah, but it's like so unique, so that's why it's infinitely like fucking quotable. Yeah. And like people can reference this all day long, and people do reference this all day long. <laughs> which is, a little which too is, much. Which is which is what gets annoying at some points because I remember when JoJo first started airing yeah, in like yeah. parts one and two. I remember talking. No about No one it. gave a shit. I remember no. talking about it, and I was like, I, I think it was like in my very first year review when it was like 2013, mm. and I was like talking about JoJo, being like, yeah, there's this like long forgotten anime that's being like, long forgotten manga that's being adapted called JoJo. You guys, should, you guys should probably watch. Yeah. Not knowing how big it would become fucking seven years later. Cause now yeah. everyone in the anime community knows Jojo, but I don't think everyone in the anime community should get into Jojo. You know what no, I mean? It's, no. it's, 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 it's hard. Like I, yeah. as much as I love it, I, I, there's so many, 
pitfalls that would put someone off in the mm. first few parts yeah. where yeah. he's really coming into his own mm. yeah. as an author. Like I think part four is really where he starts to be like, okay, from part four onwards, you're getting a fucking amazing experience. Yeah. 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 But there's so many growing pains in between that. Yeah. And yeah, it's- uh, part, and part one and three mostly, I feel like the growing part, pains. And I think that's also one of the, the annoying parts is that people who love part two, then go to part three and they get something totally kind of different. And yeah. it's hard to yeah. be like- it's hard just, to adjust. Just yeah. like kind of put up with it. Like I, I, I wonder like if I had internet, you know, I had mm. any form of internet, would I have dropped it? Like I wonder right, about right, that. Yeah. Like, would I, cause the, I, the only reason I watched it is I had no other anime downloaded mm, except yeah. for this. And I, I remember being like, fucking come on. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, geez, this fucking fight's so boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, come on. And I don't know, it, it just feels like nowadays people still make JoJo references and the JoJo fandom still acts like it's it's this really underground kind of show that yeah. everyone mm. should get into. And it's just not that case anymore. No, and no. I, I, I don't, yeah, we are an annoying fandom. Yeah, I, don't think they, they, I don't think they understand that they might be pushing a lot of people away from the show now yeah. just because of how vocal they are. Yeah. I, I like to now, at least publicly with my, my JoJo references, I like to be sparing and like yeah. save it for a good moment. Yeah, a because good JoJo reference at the right time, hits right? That's the differently. Thing. It does I hit say. differently, <laughs> but like that's the thing, right? Is like I think as well that a lot of people are just getting fucking sick of JoJo's because it is so quotable in any situation, and yeah. so, and like so many of the JoJo memes now are just like, dude, come on! Like, <laughs> I'm just like, dude, come on! You can do be- come on! You can do better than that! Like, please! Like, there there are a lot of good memes. There like, are yeah, a lot I, of good I, memes. I, I think Don't it's I think it's like that now because there's no new anime part airing. But yeah. whenever there's a new anime oh, airing, dude, when part six like becomes an anime, whenever yeah. that may be, the memes are gonna be fucking top tier. Yeah, like we already know. But in the meantime, there's just the dead moment of just dead memes, where it's just kind of putting the JoJo fan base in a little bit of a bad light, I feel, because yeah. they're just shitting out these memes everywhere. Yeah. And people no, are just like, are, all right, go a bit ham. I get it. But like for you as a JoJo fan, do you yeah. ever feel defensive whenever someone shits on JoJo or like- Oh, uh, it depends what for. Like if, if they're shitting on it, like just to shit on it, which many people are because mm, yeah. you know, the fandom is super fucking annoying, yeah. right? So, I mean- And it's a popular show. I mean, show. I, I get annoyed by it, right? Yeah. Cause I read this shit and I'm like, dude, you're 12. Don't talk on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you're, you're just- Who gave you permission? Yeah. 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 Your Profile picture is Meliodas. Please stop. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I, I mean, <laughs> it, it's hard, right? Because it's like watching your little brother like shit his pants in public. It's like, come on, man. Like, don't, come on. Like, <laughs> Not you're now. Me, you're making me look bad. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. 